Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. And uh, why am I so excited? Because this is the fifth wine. I'm at the end. It's been less than an hour. I won't do it because I won't. That was going to be another one of those inside jokes between me and like a manager who doesn't even work with me anymore. He works at another store. So it would be lost in everybody. Unless you want to call me Bob. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead. I hope somebody gets that. I really do. I hope somebody watches enough commercials on television to have gotten that. I'll, okay, that will be it. If you know, and that I'm Bob, if you know what commercial that's from, I will send you some stickers. There you go. There's a contest. A reference. Hopefully it's not too difficult. So out of all the people that watch this, Somebody must under, know who, who that is or what commercial I'm referencing. Um, so if you do, email me at mark at 1337wine.com. Uh, let me know if, if, you, if you know who it is, the, what the, not who, but what commercial that references. If you're right, the first person that, sent, that I get the email from uh, who's right, I will confirm it. We'll, I'll get a shipping address and I'll, I will ship you a, a sheet of... 12 stickers for you to do some guerrilla marketing for me. Take some pictures of it too, so it's on the website. All right, so let's uh, let's get on with the show. Um, that's what I'll maybe have the little references to something. Let's see who who's actually watching and who knows this stuff. All right, this is the non-vintage uh, Trevento Birds and Bees Sweet Red. Uh, here's a close up of the label. This is a 100% Malbec from the uh, Mendoza region, yes, of Argentina. Um, $8.98 at HEB, just the regular HEB. I did buy this a little over a year ago. Um, sweet red. All right, so first off, as hopefully those of you who watched the show long enough know, sweet reds or sweet, sweet, sweet red wines in general typically are not my favorite. Uh, not my preference. Let me make sure the green light was on the uh, receiver for the for the wireless here. Um, so it's typically not my preference. It doesn't mean that uh, I won't like it. It's just not my preference in wines. Uh, and I do like. I have had some sweet wines that are really good, but they're usually the white kind, the the white varietals. Anyway, so 100% um, Malbec. Um, so let's see what it's like. Okay, different. Okay, not as different as I thought it was, but it's just I haven't had this smell in a while in a while. There's a candy-fied, like hard candy shell uh, quality to the bouquet. Raspberry-like, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Raspberry-ish. Maybe almost cotton candy-like. Um, but it's subtle. It's not overpowering. So. Screw top. I got nothing against these things. I think they're just fine. For servers, it's a heck of a lot easier to open that up than trying to open up a a cork. But corks are just you know sexier, I guess. You put in your comments below whether you like corks better than Selvin uh, screw caps. I try to convince you why they're better. I, 
it's better than some of the other sweet reds I've had. It's not sugary, like, ugh, sweet. Um, it's actually not, it's, it's not like overpoweringly sweet. Um, it's got some sweetness. It's more than that, that residual sugar type of sweetness that you'll get with wines. Um, it's not killing me, really. Um, but it's kind of like, it kind of has that grape juice type of feel to it with alcohol, you know? Kind of more instead of like grape jelly or grape juice. Again, raspberries. I, I, I get that. It seems like when I have these sweet reds, I get that raspberry wine. And, and it might be because I had a friend of mine give me a raspberry wine. And it was really sweet. And it was, you know, at the time I had it, um, I, I enjoyed it. I didn't drink a lot of it because it was, it was, it was very, very sweet. And it really reminded me of hard candies. So... I think what it is is when I smell these wines and I taste them, I think of that wine. It was like a Korean wine. Um, and it was it was tasty, but I couldn't drink a lot of it. This is definitely not as, as powerful of a, of, of a sweetness as, a, as, a, as that one. But I think what it is is that that wine makes me think, you know, will now forever make me think of sweet reds like that. You know what? For nine bucks, if you want something that's sweet, uh, you have people who don't drink wine a lot. They go, oh, I don't like wine. Or if they drink wine, all they will ever drink is white Zinfandel. But give them this. They'll probably love it. Um, as a wine, you know, I, I, I'm biased about it. You know, it's, it's, and it's not complex. It's, it's pretty one-dimensional. It's straightforward. Um, it probably has a purpose. I don't think they make it anymore because I can't find it on the website. Um, so I don't know when this was actually ever made because it was a non-vintage. But um, 78, it's, it doesn't inspire me in the least. Yeah. Okay. Um, I did have a wine, not exactly like this, but I had tried two weeks ago according to the program, even though in real time it was only, what, three days ago. But as far as this is concerned, two weeks ago on show date uh, when I went to the wine tasting, uh, there was a sweet red. It was all right. But uh, 78, yeah, nothing nothing inspirational. Um, I did as the last wine just because I didn't want to have – I didn't want to drink it before the other ones uh, that I did tonight. So um, – yeah, and now I'm thirsty. So you know when you get the, you drink something that's kind of sweet, and now it's not it doesn't quench your thirst. Any of these other wines that I had that you can't see that I'm pointing to um, would be more thirst quenching than this one. This makes me thirsty. It makes me want to chug some water. Um, that's gonna do it for today. Uh, again, first person that emails me market thirteen thirty seven wine that got the Bob reference. Uh, I will send you a sheet of stickers that you can use for guerrilla marketing. Take some pictures of it. Maybe take a picture of you doing this. Um, and hopefully if you got it, you know, but not not in reference to the commercial. I really don't need to see that. Um, I don't care how elite you are with that. Um, I don't need to know about that. <laughs> All right. Uh, and I'm not going to put it on the website if you do that type of stuff. We're, gonna, we're going to um, end the show right now before I before it really starts going into the gutter. And uh, we will see everybody again next time.